Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Bringing you guys another PTCGO gameplay and commentary. Today we're going to be playing with the Zoro Garb list that made top 8 at the Melbourne special event uh, this past weekend. Um, I'm, a, I'm not a huge fan. I wasn't a huge fan of Zoro Garb until I started playing around with this list. And I actually really like this list. I really like what they did with it. Um, big fan. A lot of fun. I had, I've been having a lot of fun with this list. So I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you guys. Uh, let you see what it's like. Um, so yeah, here's a list. Pretty standard, I think. Not, not. I mean, there's a couple special things in here. You know, they got the enhanced hammers, the Sudowoodo, Orangaroo, but I mean, the rest of it, the rest of the build is pretty standard to compare to what other Zoro garbs are like. But I don't know something about this list, the little things in it, the Sudowoodo, the enhanced hammers, the Orangaroo, everything all together. I've been really enjoying it. Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you guys. Uh, bottom four psychic energy. Uh, go ahead, I go ahead and show it to you guys. Uh, and let you guys take a look at it as well. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get into this first game. Pretty solid start, especially if there's... Uh, even if we can't Ultra Ball away our top deck, we're going to be able to set up pretty well here on this first turn. Yeah, this this uh, starting hand is very good, actually. Got Lele for the Lily. Ultra Ball for a second Zerua. Oh, so we're playing against a Malamar deck. Um, So I want us to be able to stay aggressive. I want to be able to be aggressive with Guzma. So I think this de the deck, the list does play double stretcher. So I think I'm going to get rid of the uh, Trash Lanch here. One Trash Lanch in deck. One stretcher in deck, we should be good on that. Three psychic, three DC. So one psychic, one DC, one pri prize, one stretcher prize. All right, we're going to get a second Sarua here, and then we're going to Lele for Lily. If it's in there, I'm hoping it's in there. If it's not, we're just going to go ahead and have to grab a Cynthia. Come on. There we go. Nice. Go ahead and have to grab a Cynthia. Uh, we wouldn't use it this turn. We'd maybe use it next turn, I guess. Definitely just want to hold on to the double Zork, but this is that much better, actually. Nice. Get a Trubbish down. I think I want to go ahead and already attach a Psychic to it as well. Just go ahead and get that in play, yeah. And then we're going to pass. Uh, so we're going to be looking for a DCE next turn. Uh, if the Inke stays active, we might just go ahead and punch the Inke. If not, if he moves the Inke, I don't even know what he'd send up, though. He's playing a Malamar deck. Um, <clears throat> let's hope his, his turn isn't, his whole game isn't going to be just Hypnosis Pass. Yeah, so he has the copycat. Um, so he's going to be able to play a little bit more than that. Uh-oh. Might not be great besides that, though. Looks like he's going to be with the Hypnosis. And if he goes with Hypnosis, we're going to go with Cynthia. Um, I mean, at this point, I don't even know what he would. You don't want to retreat into an alternate Necrozma or something like that at this point. There's a treasure from him. Um, you're gonna have an Ultra Ball. Probably see his one of his attacks. He could just go for a third NK here, though, actually. Yep, yeah, just gonna be a third NK. Um, so the whole squad coming out already, right off the start. Um, I think, yeah, definitely an NK is gonna be stuck active this, this turn. So I actually don't hate Guzma in here because then it actually traps the energy in play. Um, but I would much rather set up. I actually pseudo widow seems pretty good in this matchup too. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the pseudo in play right now as well. I like the idea of the pseudo widow out there, and I think I only need one trubbish at a time in this matchup. So I'm gonna look for a third Zerua. Uh, a Ranguru does not seem great in this matchup. Everything else seems pretty good. <clears throat> Still hoping for a DCE initially. I'm gonna get rid of a hand stammer here. Looks like we might be whiffing the DCE. Oh, that's a DCE whiff. Um, I don't really need to commit the second trouble yet. I'd still rather have a third Zerua down. I think we're just going to go ahead and pass. Yeah, I'd much rather have a third Zerua down. We're just going to go ahead and hit him with the pass there. There's a Malamar from him. That's fine with me. Copycat. Oh, it's going to be a big copycat, unfortunately. He's going to be getting plenty of cards off that one. Um, I'm hoping the Sudowoodo actually puts in some work because now we're actually starting to get into not getting that first knockout and then him getting this big copycat. That's actually starting to put us in the danger zone. Um, I'm getting a little nervous. We might not we might not be able to keep up with him. Uh, that first KO would have been so nice to get uh, on this NK. Um, and now he can even hypnosis us, which, which kind of forces us into using Guzma, but it's not that big of a deal. Oh, he's playing uh, Psychic Malamar. Well, I guess he still could be playing Ultra Necrozma. Um, I actually kind of want to now trap this energy on this NK anyway, so I think I'm going to probably go for a Guzma on a Malamar, no matter what. Um, and just kind of trap this, because if I KO this and the, the energy gets to the discard pile, which I don't really want to have happen, I kind of want it to be stuck on the NK for the whole game, potentially. Um, we are awake, so we will have the option of what we want to do, but we'll just see what we draw first. I want to keep the stretcher. Mysterious stretcher is okay. Choice bands are really good. Um, hmm. I think I could trade the Lele. Uh, I guess the stretcher already gets us that way. I think we could trade the treasure, actually. I think that'd be fine. I want the, I want the option of the Lele, I think. 
No, it's not looking great once again. Sheesh. All right. Uh, weird spot again. He has two in there, so we could stretcher for the Garbodor. Evolve to Garbodor. Guzma, just hit this with Choice Band. Yeah? I don't hate it. I don't see anything else. I want to do something. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, Choice Band as well. We're just gonna punch it. I don't. I don't see uh, a better play this turn. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna bench a Trubbish still. Um, I want to get a third to ruin to play. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit this. Uh, we need to do something. We can't just sit here and do nothing uh, all day. I could have kept the Ultra Ball, I think maybe, and then that way I could have Ultra Ball for a Zerua, which I definitely could have like Ultra Ball away Zorak Lele for a Zerua. Uh, keep the Trubs. Um, but this is, this should also be fine. Yeah, I definitely would have liked to have gotten the third Zerua out, though. Um, we'll see where this goes. All right, there's the stadium. A little annoying, but not a huge deal. It actually gives us, uh, the ability to get free retreat on some stuff, which is nice. I could get, like, a Psychic Energy, put it on, uh, a Lele or something. Or even, like, the Pseudo Wudo. Give that Pseudo Wudo free retreat cost. Uh-oh. It's possible he actually set this up into a Malamar here. This could get, uh, this could be annoying. If he gets, like, an Ultra Ball, get rid of a Psychic... Malamar, Malamar knock this out. That would be pretty annoying. Uh, and he is getting a lot of cards off another copycat. This man plays a lot of copycat. Holy moly. At least three copycat. I'm just going to assume he plays four at this point. Um, yep, there it is. He's going to get rid of a psychic energy. Oh, two psychic energy. Sheesh. And there's Malamar. And now he's going to get the knockout on our active with the Malamar. All right, that's a little rough. Um, should be able to recover fine from it, but that is pretty annoying. Not going to lie. Um, we're going to go ahead and just look for a Rydus beating to knock out this Malamar, and we'll kind of take the game from there. We're not in a bad spot by any means, but that's a just kind of a super annoying sequence that just happened. Um, and then he will be able to set up this to knock out a Zorok on the following turn. So I think I might just look for DCE knock this out uh, anyways and just kind of ignore the Malamar for right now. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'll look to do. I am starting to run into Guzma, though. That'll be my third Guzma in the discard pile. I'm not sure. Um, oh, energy switch. Let's see. One, two, three. That's five items in the discard pile now. I actually forget if this list runs Palpat or not. So um, that might end up coming into play. We'll see. Let's see what I draw here. Still, I'm going to keep the treasure because it finds me the trash on hitch. I'm going to keep the Lele. I might blow her the stadium. There's Judge now. There's the DCE. Um, do I even need? I still want choice band, huh? So he could go like Guzma knock out Trubbish. So I might want to bench double Trubbish here. Actually, I think I will trade away the Lele. Yeah, I'm gonna hold the field blower because they play quite a few stadiums. Okay, so I could get the third to Rua now. So we're actually gonna go like this Rua, and I'll bench Trubbish. DCE, Guzma this, take this out so it can't KO a Zorark, because right now it's in position to be able to knock out a Zorark. I could, well, he has free retreat by through that anyways, so I'm just going to ride his beating this. Um, now he could set up, actually, uh, Marshadow GX attack, uh, which would be pretty annoying, so maybe I should have played around that and just knocked out his active, actually. Could have just knocked out the active, played around the Marshadow GX attack, maybe even judged him. We have the judge for next turn, I guess. Um, but if he does go March, March out of GX attack, I'm actually in a pretty tough spot. Um, so maybe I, did, I made a mistake there, actually, with that one. I could have just knocked out his active, and then he can't March Shadow. I mean, I guess he has to still get a Dawn Wings in the discard pile anyway. So he's still like, find Dawn Wings, get it in the discard pile, then find March Shadow, find an energy for it. We'll see how it goes. Either way, he has free retreat. I actually want to like trap the energy on this Malamar if possible, which is what's currently happening by them just happening by them just staying there. Um, I think there's one Guzma left. I forget if this list plays Palpat or not, which actually might end up being a big deal. <clears throat> I might, I might have wanted to just knock out his active and hold the Guzma. Um, that was set up so he could pretty easily knock out my active. He would need like energy attachment to Lele. I oh, was going with the Mewtwo down right now. Uh, that does not bode well for him. I have, uh, unless he knocks out my Trubbish, which would have been a reason for me to actually go after putting down two Trubbish in play. I think he's actually going to go Guzma knock out my Trubbish here. Um, 
So I maybe should have actually tried to go with double Trubbish down. Um, this might come to bite me, yeah. There goes Trubbish. Goodbye, Trubbish. So this might come back to bite me here. Not not benching double Trubbish, instead going a little bit greedier and putting the Zerua in play. I feel like this is probably going to come back to bite me. Um, so I could just punch him with Zork. Yes, if he plays Choice Band, he can one-shot my Zork, but I don't think I really have a choice. He's locked up, so he has to have Choice Band if he wants to one-shot me. Doesn't have any other way to really one-shot me. I think I'm going to take that route. Um, we'll trade this. Um, trade... Uh, field Blower, I guess? No, I trade the Zerua. I don't want to Field Blower his Stadium either. I want to leave that in play. Might want to judge next turn so I could mallow this turn into the psychic energy. I don't even know. Psychic energy DCE would be good to have, I guess. I don't really want to Guzma this turn. Get a psychic energy DCE sounds pretty good. Trade a nest ball. All right, and then Trubbish is coming down. And DC to a different Zork sounds good to me. Then just, I guess I could have burned. This nest ball, I just played the nest ball. I should have just played the nest ball. Hmm. How many items do you have? One, two, three, four, five. Punch 200. All right, well, right is beating. So I do still have one Guzma left in the deck. <clears throat> uh, so if he has another Guzma here, then I'm looking like I'm in trouble. I'd have to go with like hit judge next turn, which isn't terrible. Uh, but yeah, if he does have Guzma left, um, I might be in some trouble. Treasures for one. Maybe he forgot he can't bench it because of the Sudowoodo. Yeah, I'm going to be in some trouble here if he uh, has Guzma knockout Trubbish, I think. Yeah, maybe not. I'll judge him and then I'll see what happens, I guess. Doesn't sound great, though. Yeah, Sudowoodo has actually been putting in a lot of work, though. Sudowoodo has felt uh, very nice so far. It felt very good. Um... <clears throat> How many items do I have in here? Should I be afraid of the Mimikyu. Okay, well, he discarded it, so I don't think I have to be afraid of the Mimikyu here. All right, no Guzma. All right, so I think we pretty much... Well, unless he plays Choice Band, I think we pretty much have this one locked up. But if he plays Choice Band, uh, we're actually still in trouble. Oh, wow. All right, so there's the Choice Band. So there's the GX attack. Um, okay, uh, now we're in trouble. Not the most trouble ever, but it's not looking great. All right, we can take the knockout, and then we can look for the Guzma knockout on the Lele on the bench next turn. Uh, so we can set up pretty well here um, for that. We can go with uh, Nest Ball, get nothing, uh, Treasure away, a Field Blower, get a Garbodor, the Guzma's in there, the Lele's in there. We can judge him pretty low, uh, but it's going to be tough, actually. I think it's going to be pretty tough to come uh, come back and win this one. Well, let's see. It's on the judge. It's all on the judge. Um, here... Three, six, seven, eight. So it's possible he could send up Lele and pass and blower that. Well, if he blowers it, that's a nine anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw a choice band here, I guess. Field blower. These both doesn't matter. And then we'll hit him with the judge. Um, yeah, so I don't think I played this one perfectly by far. I'm kind of already gone over the mistakes I've made. Um, definitely could have played it a little bit better. Trade Nest Ball. I guess I could have trade to the... Because all I need is Guzma to win the game on the Lele at this point. Um, trade Max. Yeah, it's going to be Guzma for Lele to win the game. I mean, I guess he could Guzma KO Trash Avalanche. Then maybe I'd want Max Push and pass that. Probably not, though. Yeah, we're going to go with Riot's Beating and hope it sticks. Or hope the Judge sticks. The Riot's Beating is going to stick for sure. That Mewtwo is knocked out. Um, so he needs... I don't know. There's a lot of things you could get. Mars Shadow, a Crosma GX. Uh oh. There's the Nest Ball. That should just be Mars Shadow for game, I think. Um. Yep. There's Mars Shadow. He's gonna be able to use Copyright as beating. Oh wait. He needs another Bench Pokemon. I need another Pokemon in play. So he needs Choice Band actually, or to put a different Pokemon in the discard pile. Oh no. He can. Uh. Three. He needs a Psychic Energy. Yeah. So he needs a Psychic Energy Choice Band. Psychic Energy Choice Band, or to put a different Pokemon in his discard pile. There's Acrobike. It's a start. Well, if he didn't take the Cynthia, that tells me he probably took the card. He has the card he needs. 
Um, yep, there's the choice band. So we are going to lose this one. Um, I made some mistakes. I probably should have put two Trubbish in play when I chose to put the extra, the Thirds of Ruin in play. Um, our opening also wasn't great. We weren't ever to like KO Malamar stuff. I probably also should have just KO'd a Malamar um, when I chose to go after the Necrozma. Just let the Necrozma take the knockout on the on the way back. And then I can chase another Malamar on the next turn. Um, and then maybe even another Malamar on the next turn. So I made some mistakes in this one. Um, we still got it. We got it. We got it to keep it close, though. Came down to the judge at the end. Just weren't able to pull it out quite at the end. And he had the March Shadow uh, plus the Choice Band. The Choice Bands were pretty annoying. If he didn't, have, if he didn't hit that Choice Band for that Mewtwo that turn, we definitely would have won as well. But stuff happens. Uh, well, that's going to do it for game one. All right, we're getting into uh, another, another game we'll here. Got a pretty good start. Uh, treasure for Lele for hopefully Lily, if it's in there. Nest Ball for Azarua. We should be good to go from there. Um, yeah, definitely a decent start. Look, a decent looking start for sure. All right, we're playing against the Psychic Necrozma deck. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this deck. I don't think this deck is very strong, but it it can have its it can have its uh, moments still. Um, it just needs a lot to get going. Um, that's kind of the problem with it currently. Trubbish top deck, I definitely want to keep that. I kind of want to keep the stretcher in case he kills my server. Probably not going to kill my server. Maybe I want to keep the blower. Nah, let's get rid of the blower. Um, Lele. Lily's in here. Thankfully not prized. All right. Nest ball. Zerua. Get the Zerua out. Trubbish comes down. Lele for Lily. We're not going to attach the energy, I don't think... Um, check the discard pile. Yeah, I don't want to attach energy. I'm just gonna go Lily. See what happens. Down to just chill for a turn if that's what comes up. All right, we're gonna bench the Trubbish and pass. All right, so how many items do they got so far? Three, three sixty, one twenty. So actually, we already KO'd the Necrozma GX with uh Garbodor. So actually, we're in a really good spot right now with a choice band. We need a choice band, but um. Do we? 120? Yeah. 60, 120, 60, 180. Okay, we do. Just trying to double, double check my math there. Make sure I know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if... Uh, I don't think they're going <clears> to... <throat> attack and knock out my Zerua. But if they do, we will just respond with Trash Alliance to knock out. Yeah, that's what I expected to have happen. Okay, we can actually go chase a Malamar now, which is a little bit better. Um, not too much better, because then we don't get to Malamar ourselves. I like the Malamar Zork and Azurua, actually. Um, I think likely we'll be able to get out another Malamar anyways with this one. So I would actually prefer to actually just take out the active, I think. And then just set up more with Malo. And get a Zork and a Zerua. Yeah. Trade away treasure. Trade away. I don't really want to get rid of Guzma. I don't want to get rid of Stretcher either. Yeah, I could see getting rid of Stretcher. Let's get rid of Guzma. I'm fine. I, I'm okay with getting rid of Guzma. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. There's another stretch. And right is beating for the knockout. All right, there's a psychic energy. That's the only thing I was worried about maybe needing this turn, but we already got it. We're good to go. Um, <clears throat> oh, well, there's Marsh Shadow. That might be a problem. We did take the first prize. Um, so he's going to need Black Ray. Or not Black Ray. Uh, Dawn Wings. Energy, energy, something, something. I used to get Mimikyu copyright. It's beating. That would also knock us out. Um, but he also needs the stadium. He also needs to find the stadium to be able to retreat his Necrozma. Or a switch card. He might play switch. Oh, he does play switch. At least plays one switch. Uh, potentially some stadiums. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. The loss of Flowstone did hurt this deck quite a bit, for sure. That is for sure. Uh, there's Lele. Obviously a draw supporter. So I'm hoping we're seeing a whiff on the um, knockout here. But... Uh, yeah, it's all gonna come down if he if uh if he finds the switch card. If he finds the switch card, we're probably getting knocked out. If he doesn't find the switch card, we're probably not getting knocked out. 
Let's have to wait and see. Oh, there's psychic recharge at the very least. And they also need a or he also needs a uh basic Pokemon. Um so that copycat can actually knock out the Zorark. Um I mean as long as it's not Dawn Wings using a GX attack. Oh, he can attach retreat. Okay. Um what was it? As long as it's not Dawn Wings using a GX attack, I'm actually kinda of fine with this. Um okay, got the choice band. There we go. Right is beating. And yeah, we will be able to respond pretty pretty cleanly. Gosh, stumbling over my words. Pretty cleanly with a Garbodor. So that's good. Um yeah, Garbodor. Uh we'll start with trading. Trade. I think we get rid of the max potion here. Oh, maybe I should have got rid of the acer roller now that I drew the acer roller, actually. Oops, that was a mistake. Um uh i do want to see some new cards so we're gonna go into a cynthia yeah give me a cynthia we want to see some new cards maybe could have gone for a judge uh, but i think as i keep draw i think as long as i just keep drawing cards that i need i'm just gonna win the game so i don't really need to worry about disrupting him uh trade the enhanced hammer because we should never be using that in this matchup ever two um ultra ball i'm gonna get rid of it's a roll ultra ball get the second trash lanch out of the deck give me the can I drag it over? Okay. I can trash a lance. We just want to set up to KO this. Um, most likely we'll be KOing a Malamar with a Zorak next turn, and then we'll look to close out the game with Riotus beating on, or close out the game with trash lance on a GX. Um, all depends on what he does on his turn, though. He could have some funky stuff that uh, we're not able to handle, but I'm feeling feeling pretty good at the, about this one so far. I don't think uh, we're gonna run into many problems here. I'd be surprised if we did. I think we should be able to go full uh, cruise control from here. Oh. Oh. Marshall's coming back. Could see a Guzma Riders beating KO Zorark. Um, that would be a little sketchy. Um, I don't know how he would draw his last two prizes. Um, I guess he could go with Guzman Knockout Lele, so he would maybe go with a Judge as a response to this. I'm ex yeah, I'm expecting to see Guzma. There's an attachment there. Uh oh, this is actually getting kind of scary. Um, I think we might actually lose this one. Yeah, there's the Guzma. How many Guzma does he have left? A lot. Yep. Now I'm now I'm actually a little worried. Um. We're gonna go for a judge, judge to four, and hope it sticks. I think that's actually all we all we can go for here. Um, I think there's a Lele left in the deck. We're about to go find out. Get rid of both these scoundrels. Yes, Lele. Yep. So this one's coming down to Lele for judge. Hope he doesn't draw a um two. Um getting lost in my thought here. Uh, Obi doesn't draw Guzma, or a way to get a Guzma, but he has a lot of ways to get Guzma. Uh, Treasure, Ultra Ball, Lele, Guzma, so many ways to get Guzma. It's actually insane. Um, so we're actually in trouble here for sure. He's got a lot of ways to find Guzma, but we're gonna just hope for the best here. Go down to one prize. We have, we win next turn if uh, he does not find the Guzma. This one was pretty close overall. Um, I thought we were gonna be able to close it out, but uh, that was a pretty big turn there on his last turn the stretcher get the marshadow back oh and there's ultra ball so that's going to be Lele for guzma so we're going to take a loss another loss here uh in the second game but it was a close one this game uh eh, this shows kind of like the still potential strength of psychic malamar i don't think the deck is great still but um that worked that worked very well for him on that side um not much we can do about it um Double second recharge, Guzma, knockout. Uh, we kept it close, did everything we could, um, but it wasn't quite enough. I don't know if there was anything I would have really changed with the plays I made. It was just he had uh, an answer every time to take two prizes, and there's nothing we can do about it. And so that's going to be another loss. Let's go ahead and get into another one. Let's see if we can finally get a, get right. a win on the board. All right, so we're playing against Metagross. Uh, we don't know what else he has. With it. That's the important part is what else does he have with the Metagross. We might actually just go into Stomp Off early. Um, I think we will, actually. I think we're going to go into Stomp Off next turn. Um, because it's going to be hard to move the Trubbish anyway. So we're going to go, like, Ultra Ball, get a Zerua, and then start stomping off. Um, hopefully be able to move out the the Guzma Zerua into the active next turn. I really don't want to, like, 
it's gonna be hard for me to double DC, so it's not even like on my mind to try and hit that. So we're just gonna start going into stomp off, I think, and then just see where the game can go from there. Lele for Lily, sure, sure, sure. No, he's drawn pretty well so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and frying pans. All right, I'm fine with frying pans, though. We play blowers. We're good. We can handle those. Not a huge deal. Shoot, well, it's going to have to be get rid of Psychic, get rid of Guzma. So we still have two Psychics left, ideally. Okay, got two left, so that should be plenty. We need to go with the Rangaroo. We can as well. Um, and, yeah. Cynthia. We'll just stomp off for as many turns in a row as we can. Try and take some advantage of that. Uh, Pseudo Wudu sounds pretty good here as well. And then I think we want Triple Zerua here. Let me take a look at what he's got going on. Yeah, we're going to go with Triple Zerua. <clears throat> Unfortunately, our hand has not no great follow-up. Um, but we'll hit him with a stomp off. Maybe we'll get a couple stomp offs for a couple turns. All right, that's an item. That's good. That's what I like to see. Hopefully we get to stomp off for a couple turns as our hand is. We have judges, so we, if he gets like the candy algorithm, we can deal with that. Um, it was just core beam for a while. That's even better. The stomp off was pretty successful then. We don't want to judge him then though. We're just going to sit here and stomp off for the first couple turns of the game. Okay, Orangaroo. That's a good one too. Not an item, but still a good one. We're just going to go ahead and abuse the stomp off for as long as possible. Um, just kind of hope for the best from here. Another core beam. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe Corbin. Maybe retreat. Use Corbin with the other Beldum. What do we got going on here, man? <clears throat> There's another Corbin. All right. So he's four shotting our Trubbish, and our Trubbish is discarding one card per turn. So he currently wins the race. Um, we should probably do this. <clears throat> Get a Lele for a um, Cynthia. Yep, Cynthia's in there. <clears throat> um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach a DC to a Zerua here. Cynthia, let's go for it. Still, dude, this is what I've been having with this deck. It just doesn't find Zoraks. Uh, we can Mallow into double Zorak next turn. Ah, oh, we got his Cynthia off the top. All right, stop off. Still, once again, working out. Um. <laughs> Doing work with the stomp off. I like it. Let's see, only two items though. Well, he's gonna have to get. If he ever wants to set up um, Metagross, he's gonna have to get more items in there, anyways. Ah. All right. So that means he doesn't have an energy in hand though, which means he would have to top deck. Oh, he's gonna shuffle three in deck. Okay. I guess that nullifies my stomp off a little bit. So we're just gonna keep up the same strategy. Just stomp off, stomp off, stomp off. Here's our draw. Not a Zorark. Mallow. We're going to get double Zorark on top. And then start trading away stuff. Uh, and we're going back into Stomp Off. Stomp Off. There we go. Steven Resolve. Another one. We just high rolled him on the Stomp Off again. Um, I don't really mind if he Steven Resolves, though. So We'll go into... Oh, Okay. Interesting. Oh, so he's just going to be playing the basic one then. I think I, he probably won't be playing the uh, <clears throat> big uh, big Metagross. There's prob maybe one one big Metagross, but probably just a bunch of small Metagross. All right. Um, I don't want to put down a second Zorak, so we're just going to go Guzma and knock out a Beldum. Yeah, I don't want to put down a second Zorak if we don't have to. This also protects the Trubbish now. Um... From him going rare candy, Metagross knockout. So I'm fine with this. We'll uh, take away the stomp off factor in his top decking. Uh, it already worked two times. We got rid of the Steven Resolve and the Cynthia. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and start swinging now and see how that goes. Frying pan, man. The frying pan really won't make a factor until uh, Trash Knight gets evolved because we still two shot it, I think. 90 90, yeah. So the frying pan's not a factor for, won't be a factor for a little while. Um,. Yeah, the frying pans won't be a factor for a bit. Um, but they'll get they'll become a factor eventually. And that's what I'm scared of. Okay, pass again. 
Looks like maybe Stomp Off uh, did its job, and we will actually win because we stomped off uh, Cynthia and Stevens back to back. Um, Stomp Off doing work. Another Beldum goes down. Uh, this is kind of the problem with Metagross decks in general is, uh, yeah, you're, uh, you just start losing Beldum back to back to back to back. Um, in this situation, it wasn't even me Guzma chasing them. It was just kind of him dead drawing. Um, he's going to get risky with it, and he's going to send up another Beldum. Uh, we'll see if this is going to save him. I don't think it's going to. Um, I think the stomp off was just too strong here. <laughs> um, all right, there we go. He's got Lele. All right. So he's gotten out. Um, and if this matchup truly is really bad, then uh, he still has time to beat us for sure. Let's see what he grabs off this Lele here. He's going to go with a Resolve, which is interesting because then he's like sacrificing his Beldum. I don't know why he just doesn't send up a Lele ever. Send up the Lele. We should be able to close out this game pretty reasonably now, though. Okay, there's the treasure for a Beldum. The, uh, what's called makes more sense now. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and judge him. I think we're going to go Evolve Zork, Evolve Zork, Judge. Um, it's a little risky, but it's not too bad. Um, yeah. Evolve Zork, Evolve Zork, Judge. I think is what we're going to go with next. Uh, and KO this Beldum. Just kind of lock him out of the game uh, on the Judge play. Hopefully, ideally. I mean, I've had people uh, draw pretty well off Judges in the past. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets Candy Metagross. Other stuff. Other usable stuff. We're just hoping that he doesn't. Da -da 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 -da. But uh, we'll see. <clears throat> All right. And his Lele's are going to be good to go down soon as well. Treasure away a treasure. I don't think I need any treasures anymore. Set up another DC on another Zork. And then Judge. Alright. Um, I don't think I need a Rangaroo, but if I do, I have two stretchers left. I would probably want the Lele before the Rangaroo. So we're trading away the Rangaroo. I definitely want the Max Potion before either of them. Um, trade away. Hmm. First band might be useful. I think I'll get rid of the Lele here. We have one Lele left, and we have Stretchers, so now we activate Stretcher to find Lele, I guess. And then we'll trade away a Zork, because I don't think we're ever saved with another Zork. If we ever get a bench space, it's going to go to a Trubbish from here on out, I think. And then Beating, knock out this Beldum. At five items. Um, getting up there. Getting up there for sure. <clears throat> that is a lot of damage coming in from the Shrine, so that is a little worrying, but I'm not... It is a little worrying, but I'm not too worried. Um, especially if he is playing the just the small Metagross. Yeah. He is just playing the small Metagross with the extend. Um, see if he has a. That's what I said. This is what I said. I'm just going to end up probably uh, any him into. Can, or judging him into Candy Metagross. He didn't have much else besides that, thankfully, but uh, I did uh, judge him into Candy Metagross. So it's always a little annoying when that happens. Or it's like, okay, we're good here. Oh, wait, you just uh, judged him into Candy Metagross. Great. Um, I'm going to get rid of a choice band here. I don't think I'm going to be using all three of them. I do have more left in the deck if I need them. Um, uh, trade away Cynthia. I don't really want a Cynthia anymore. I'm actually going to treasure away the Ultra Ball just to thin those cards out of the deck. I don't want those in there as well. I mean, I kind of want a way to find Trash Lanch and stuff, but I think I should be good to that. Uh, we're going to take out this Lele and then go down to one prize and look to take out this Lele to close out the game. I'm not going to blow her away the Shrine because it's not really doing anything right now. Um, it's not really being a factor right now, so I'm not too worried about it. I'll just leave it in play. I'll take the damage and uh, let his Lele take the damage. Um... I actually need his Lele to take the damage, don't I? Yeah, I need his Lele to take two more hits so I can ride his speeding, knock it out. So that works out pretty well then. Um, one more hit coming back into my turn, and then Guzmo 120, knock it out after it has 50 damage on it from the Shrine. Uh, Delmise, I can also just knock out Delmise now, I guess. Um, but we managed to take that one. That was actually a pretty funny game. I think I'm going to leave that one in uh through the through the stomp-offs. The stomp-offs were pretty funny there. We uh, stomped off his, his uh, 
uh, a, a top deck out two turns in a row, giving us enough time to like set up um, and just kind of just delay him until we had uh, enough stuff to start dealing with uh, what he had going on. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, uh, give it a like. If you enjoyed the content, subscribe. Constructive criticism is constructive criticism as always is welcome in the comment section down below. Uh, links for my Twitch live stream, Twitter, Facebook, all kinds of stuff like that will be in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.